well, X, well, we got. You know, I, <laughs> let's okay. take. Good morning, X. Let's try again. Good morning. <laughs> I don't know so, if you so, heard what we were talking so, about, we, we, but we were mentioning about the NSA, the uh, NDAA, and, and Mark Scaringi, and all kinds of good stuff. So what's your words of wisdom for the day? Well, let's always remember that the Constitution is a limitation document. It's not a permission slip. <laughs> it's designed as a limitation document because our founding fathers realized that there was nothing worse. It's one thing to have a psychopath living in your neighborhood. It's worse to have a psychopath running your government. And uh, since power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, they realize that we need to put in place guarantees to protect the public from the government that is out there. This idea that somehow, you know, the, the people have a check on government, well, that kind of has proved itself to be a moot point now that we realize that the NSA has gone off the rails and is now collecting data on people. And this is the key point. Without a warrant, it's collecting this information and creating these databases purely without any sort of provocation on the individual's part to warrant this type of intrusive behavior. And this is why Rand Paul is coming out with this lawsuit. This is why we had this NDA vote with the Amash Amendment. Uh, and what it's doing is, is exposing both those the left and on the right who are really at their true hearts authoritarians. It's just a question of what type of authoritarian are they. Well, you know, you're right about that, and 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 certainly, what we need to do is 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 like uh, Mr. Scringi said, is is start really looking at these candidates, and and perhaps we can't just look at the parties, but we have to look at the ones that are actually standing up. Because Michael, if we don't if we don't follow the Constitution, we're we're lawless, and and I'm, we're going to talk a little bit more about that later on in the show here. But I'm I'm afraid to think of you know where we're heading here. We have we have a president. That I, I was listening to Fox News last night, X and Michael, and because I couldn't listen to MSNBC for because of the last two weeks, all they talked about is Christie. I, they're still on this. I've never seen anything like that. We have Benghazi, IRS. They, they, they never cover nothing. Two weeks straight. So I put on Fox News last night, and of course everybody's up in arms about you know Obama and 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 not following the Constitution, and yet I I got to say you know the unchecked power, but. The judiciary has unchecked power also, and, and and they have put themselves in a position where they, they you know, they they're lord and master over everything, and and really, I don't see any unchecked power there. And then when I look at the legislative part, they're useless. They're absolutely useless. These people that are in Congress, at least in my opinion, or very of uh, the majority of them, not the ones ex like you just talked about, Amash or or Rand Paul or people that are standing up and saying.